The Radio Memories Network is brought to you in part by Liberated Syndication, podcast publishing made easy, Libsyn.com. That's L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. Welcome to the Old Time Radio Network Detective Stories, continuing America's love affair with private eyes. We now go back to the early days of radio and our imaginations with our feature presentation. Secret Agent X-9 by Dashiell Hammett, dramatized by Mark Brissenden. last week's episode, Secret Agent X-9 retraced his steps to the Powers' mansion, seeking information on the supposed death of Tarleton Powers' brother, Alden. X-9 clashes with Grace Powers' lover, Alfred Hall. Meanwhile, Evelyn Powers had fallen back into the hands of the Top's men, to be rescued again by X-9 and a mysterious new companion going under the name of Sidney George Harper Carp. With Evelyn Powers entrusted to his care, Harper Carp slips away with her, only to be discovered at his office, more in fear of Grace Powers than X-9. Attempting to unravel the truth behind this fear, they are surprised by a mysterious old man. Armed and ranting about enemies everywhere, he promised X-9 would be the first to die. This week's episode, You're the Top. Put that gun down. I told you, we're not your enemies. How do I know you're telling the truth? Come here. I'll show you. Okay. No tricks now. What? (laughs) It's okay. He missed. (laughs) Not fair. I had so much trouble getting that gun, and now you're taking it away. I won't do it again, I promise. (laughs) What is this? Some tough guy. Cut out the crying and tell me what you meant by coming in here with his sawn off. I've got enemies. Hundreds of them. Be careful, sir. The man is crazy, sir. Crazy. Quiet, cop. If you really think so, stay hiding under your desk. Don't be too rough on him, Dexter. He looks so frightened. Let me talk to him. You won't hand me over to my enemies. They want to kill me. Who wants to kill you? He does. He took my gun. Don't worry. He does that to everyone he meets. Why would I want to kill you? Because you're the top. How would you know of the top? Because I know his real identity. Could be the only one alive who does. Who is the top? He's... he's... uh, I used to know. Sometimes I can remember. Then... Let's try an easier one. Who are you? Now, this one I know. I'm... uh, Don't tell me I'm... uh... Your name is Powers. Alden Powers. Father! That's it. Powers. I knew that. It's a lie. He can't be. Oh, come now. Don't spoil a touching family reunion. You called me father. I have a daughter. Evelyn. I knew that. This man is an imposter. His daughter doesn't seem to think so. What is that woman doing here? She's your brother's widow. He married you? You know each other? It's ridiculous. The man is mad. How can she say it's her father? She was only five when he went missing. And I tell you, it's him. Well, old man... Can you prove your Alden powers? Yes, by the word of a thief and a murderess, Grace Coulot. (laughs) Not this one again. I'm not... But you most certainly are. That is precisely what you were calling yourself those 15 years ago in Montana. I don't care whether you were known as Grace Coulot in Montana or Joan of Arc in France. All I want from you is to find the top. I told you I could find out who he is, but you've got to give me time. And you, old man, I don't care whether you're really Evelyn Powers' father or Jojo the dog-faced boy if you help me find him. I know who he is as well as I know my own name. If only I could remember. Let me take him somewhere quiet. I'm sure I can get him to remember. Take him back to the house. See if he remembers anything there. Then I'll prove he's not your father. Nothing doing. Evelyn, you can't take care of yourself out of my sight, let alone him. No. No. He's going to get a full medical examination. I need a psychiatric report. There's no need. No need. I I remember. My mind, really, it's beginning to clear. Father, that's wonderful. I'll take you to the top. You're not kidding me. Of course not. (sighs) Okay. Whilst your memory's working again, tell me who the top is. Well, now, that's... uh, Okay. 
Where will I find him? It's in the warehouse district. No address as such. I can take you there. I know I can find it. Careful, sir. It sounds a mite too convenient. No one's asking you to come. I'm coming. If your father's telling the truth, where we're going's no place for you. I'm not being separated from him again so soon. I couldn't bear it. She has to come. I have to protect her now. Swell. A nice family outing to go pick up the top. And what about me? Aren't I part of the family? Not to me, you're not. Three's enough of a crowd. You and Hopper Cop stay here. And try not to rip each other apart before I get back. That way. No. This way. No. I know where the warehouse district is. That's the easy part of this ride. The rest is up to you. And for your sakes, I hope this isn't a dead run. So why do you think you know me from Montana? Know you, madam? No. Know of you. It made the papers, I believe. Double murders have a tendency to do that, you know. Particularly in such circumstances. And in a house of ill repute. It was self-defense. <laughs> then why do I recall reports of their hands being tied? I was 14 and they were sick, evil men. Just like Alden Powers and his brother. My only crime was being born poor. Ah, don't tell me. Your mother was a working girl, and your father took care of the business end of things, and you were put to work when you were ten, no doubt. I was twelve. Ah. And as far as Montana's concerned, I just vanished off the face of the earth. Instead, I was doing pretty well as a showgirl in New York. Hmm. <laughs> a fascinating story, but I fear we It gets should... better. When I hooked up with a stage door Johnny name of Alton Powers... We're having a swell time till he digs up my past in a few artistic poses I pulled at 15. Ah, oh, you wouldn't happen to... Have... I burned him, you slug. Mm. Dexter was the last person to catch sight of him. But he's never going to know it was me. Right? Um, no question of it, madam. No question. Good. See, from that day on, I was Alden Powers to do with what he wanted. What was I going to do? Holler for a cop? Again, no question. Then Alden just disappears, supposedly at sea. I think I'm a free woman. What I don't know is Alden's passed it all along to his brother Tarleton. And now I'm his along with his brother's business interests. Hmm, a charming couple. Well, it certainly made life more comfortable. Especially when the top had him bumped off. I do so love a happy ending, don't you? Hmm, <laughs> an entertaining tale. But why tell it to me? I want you to understand why I behave as I do. And now you'll tell me where you fit into all this. I'm not sure I know myself, and that's a fact, but unless the Harper Carp knows fools him, there's money to be made somehow. So you're nothing to do with this Dexter fella? A Harper Carp wears no man's collar, but a lady like yourself could consider him entirely at her service. Entirely. And I can trust you? To the grave, though I'm a poor man... And must earn a living. Don't worry. You'll be paid for your help. Ah, then you are as generous as you are beautiful and charming. I'm not paying you that much. Now, I need to know more about this woman he was in love with. Hmm. <laughs> a man like that. Love anybody. <laughs> oh, shut up, you fat fool. Answer my questions and keep your opinions to yourself. I said nothing. You did. You laughed at the idea that Dexter could fall in love with me. The humblest of apologies. The, the humblest. Then, now you understand. I love Dexter. I want him. He's my last chance to be a good person. With him, I know I can. Madam, say no more. Sidney G. H.C. is your pigeon. <sighs> you sure this is the warehouse? Doesn't look like anyone's been near this one in years. Father? This is the place. I know it. If anybody stops us, let me do the talking. Okay, but no tricks. Just as I thought. This place is deserted. You knew it. No, toward the back here. There's a trap door. It'll take you below street level. Stand back. I'll take a look. Careful. There's no steps. Just a ladder. Can you see anything? Not yet. I, uh, 
Why don't you take a closer look, my dear? Oh! Miss Powers! You all right? What happened? My father pushed me in. Uh, about par for your family, I'd say. Are we trapped? I think that's a pretty safe bet. I'll try and force the trap door. <clears throat> well? <clears throat> Feels like he's blocked it with something, too. There's, there's smoke coming through the floorboards. <clears throat> father! No! Father, don't do this! Ah, quit yapping. <clears throat> he's putting a torch to this place. <clears throat> And we're gonna need all our strength if we're ever gonna break out of this hole! <coughs> so we understand each other, Mr. Harper Carp? <laughs> that we do, ma'am. Ten thousand dollars to help you lead Mr. Dexter to the top in your very own inimitable style. Tell me what I must do first. Shut up and listen. It, uh, I should have known it wouldn't be easy. Now the top wants to kill my brother-in-law, Alden Powers because he knows who the top is. He'll want to kill Evelyn, too, because he'll think Alden told her. We bait the trap with them both, and there you are. But uh, suppose he kills them before Mr. Dexter springs the trap. Do you care? I don't. Uh, Mr. Dexter will care. He won't have to know we planned it that way. The top will know. <laughs> and what sewer did you slither up from? Brother Luke, if I'm not mistaken. You're not. I'd have kicked the door in to announce my arrival. Someone beat me to it. It's been a busy afternoon, sir. You understand, of course, I was powerless to prevent your arrest, which I thought most unjust, sir. Most unjust. The top organized some fake cops to surprise Brady in the paddy wagon, and here I am. Hey, where's this agent guy? He's mine. Oh, you half-wit. Why did you have to come in and spoil things? Another ten minutes and I would have had this fat fool completely on our side. Then we could have trapped Dexter with no trouble. You expect me to believe that? You were selling out the top. I don't care what you think. You're just an errand boy. Tell the top I want to speak to him. Hey, we don't do it that way. You speak when you're spoken to. Really? In my book... The one holding the gun gets their own way. What? Hey, hey now, nah, steady. Mm, careless of you, sir, to enter without a weapon drawn. No, oh, most careless. Against the screwy Dana and a fat fool? Call me what you will, but mind the lady, sir. Mind the lady. You've got one minute to get the top on this phone. Uh, it's not that simple. 45 seconds. I fear she's deadly serious, sir. Deadly. 30 seconds. Uh, give me that phone. Yes? Uh, this is Luke. I'll take that. You're sure this is the top? It's him. Then we won't be needing you anymore. Oh! oh. This is Grace Powers speaking. Did you just hear a loud noise? Yes. That was me shooting one of your men. I didn't like him. A pretty way of showing it. I want to see you in the office of a man called... I know where you are. I don't make house calls. I'll send someone to tidy up for you. They'll know where to take you. Men? Putty. You shot him in cold blood. Then you'd better see that you do as you're told, hadn't you? They should be roasting nicely now. Send me back to the farm, would they? So many enemies. But there was somebody I didn't want to hurt. One more ought to do it! There. Come on, quick, before the ladder burns through. Where's father? He'll be long gone. What are you going to realize? He's still in here. I'll get him. No! No, let me go! I must save them! Save who? I don't know. Let's see if this helps! No! Oh, you hit him! That's nothing to what he tried to do to us! Evelyn? I'm here, Father! What have I done? I must get you out of here! Well, that blow must have returned some of your senses. But for how long? Even you could have forgotten we're blocked off by the flames! Oh, there's another way out! I don't know what happened, but I was brought here! A long time ago. We have to go back in the hole. There's a cover. It leads down into the sewer. Whatever you say, old man. 
But you first. Now, come on, you first. <laughs> Deal with that power stain business, Brother Mark? Sure, Agnes. I put her in the elevator to the top, so I guess she'll be bobbing up in the river pretty soon. What? The top didn't want her delivered, just dispatched. He won't know it's her. Huh? I thought he wanted to get rid of her personal like. Where's the fat guy you brought with her? Losing his lunch in the men's room. He's still pretty shook up by the rough stuff. Go check the elevator. I'll shut up the diner and deal with his Harper Carp guy. Soon as I see the top, it's two bullets in its slimy hide. And then Dexter will be mine. Who's there? Those fools! I didn't tell them to bring you straight to me. <gasps> You're the top. But you can't be. <laughs> but I am, my dear. I am. And I'll take that gun now. <laughs> Can't understand why it's so light down here. I'm sorry, I don't remember any of this. So many tunnels. It's okay, Father. You got us out of the warehouse. Quiet. There's something going on ahead. Keep close. There's dozens of them. What are they doing? Uh, I don't know. Looks like they're building some sort of dry dock. Is that a mini sub? Ah. Uh, this might be how the top was planning to get the gold bullion into the country. There's somebody coming. Could be a way out. We'll give it a minute or two, then we'll follow them. Uh, well, looks like a kitchen. Do you know this place? No, I don't. If you don't know it, you ain't got no business coming up out of there. Come on, hands up. The Liberty Grill Diners for select customers only. Do as she says. Smart move, handsome. Oh! My, you look almost tame with your hands up, Mr. Dexter. Almost tame. Come! <laughs> Seems I'm as adept with a frying pan as you are with your fists, sir. What are you doing here? What is this place? I believe, sir, this diner is what is known popularly in the criminal fraternity as a front, sir. I was forcibly brought here, along with Mrs. Powers. She's here? Delivered to the top, sir, after rudely dispatching his man, Luke. Ah, then she did have a way to him. Is there a phone here? Uh, above the lunch counters, sir. What are you going to do? Get you out of here. Then I'm going to call every available uniform, FBI, and organization agent. Hell, I think I might even get the sanitation department in on it. I'll have them descend on the Statue of Liberty. Not only do I think I know who the top is, I think that's his new address. You can't leave me out of this now. I might never see you again. Miss Powers, get your father out of here now, before any of the top's men reappear. I'm making that call. Then I'm going back down into that sewer after him. But Dexter! Listen! I... You're a good kid. I like you. But you must get your father as far away as possible. Look, make him well again, and you'll learn a lot about your uncle. Don't judge him too harshly. He wasn't a good man, but the company he kept was worse. And in the end, he died trying to make things right again for you, Miss Powers. But, Dexter. Yeah? Can't you just once call me Evelyn? Goodbye, Evelyn. Now go. Come on, Father. Hey, goodbye. Uh, uh, oh. Farewell. Farewell to you both. As for me, sir, it's been a grand adventure. Ah, you're coming I... with me. I... You're still the loose cannon around here as far as I'm concerned. I don't know where you're going to turn up next. This way, I'll know. Uh... As you wish, sir. I do. I'll make that call. Then we'll go looking for Grace and the top. Gad, sir. What is it? Am I to understand that you know almost nothing of the layout in these sewers? That's right. I'm just following my nose. Oh, yes, an unfortunate phrase, sir, considering. Ah. Light from that tunnel looks promising. Stay back, cop. I think I'll find out just how well everybody knows each other down here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hey, uh, hey, pal. 
Yeah? The top's still up there with that powers game? Who wants to know? Brother, uh, Nathaniel. There ain't no brother Nathaniel. That's right, I forgot. I'm an only child. <laughs> Back against that wall, pal. Hey, what? Yell loud and be your last squawk. I know we're smack under the Statue of Liberty. This elevator go up inside of it? Sure. That'll take you to where you want to go. Cop, get over here. Oh, yes, sir. Open those elevator doors. I want to keep my eyes on this bird. Anything that takes us out of these foul sewers, sir. Anything. Great. I wanted to take this guy with us. But with you in there, cop, there's just no way. Sorry, pal. But you're waking up with a big headache in the morning. No! Don't! Oh. Move aside, cop! Let's get this thing going. What next, sir? You think I had this all planned out in advance? Only I wondered when I might be allowed to drop out. Yeah. Mm. Elevator will take you to where you want to go. Uh, sir? What the tops man said. The way he said it. Cop! Quick! Grab the rail! Uh, uh, I have it! Oh, I have it! Uh, but I, I, I don't think I can hold on too long. You must! Oh. They won't have expected us to survive that. And the floor could come back up any second. I fear for this rail, sir. Uh, my bulk. I, I don't think it will hold. Uh, uh, Hang on! I can't! I can't! Oh, oh. oh thank heavens. Thank heavens. You're all right, sir. Stay hanging on to that rail, just in case. We must be getting pretty near the top of the statue by now. There, my dear Grace. Whoever it was in that elevator has gone now. Perhaps you'd be so kind as to leave in the same fashion. I'll get the door. Weren't thinking of leaving, were you? No. It's impossible! Dexter! Nice trick with the elevator, but I was ready for it. Now, move back and drop the gun. Don't shoot! Pick the gun up, Hop. Uh, firearms, sir. Not really mine. Never mind. I know. You just can't get the sidekicks these days. Well, what are you waiting for? Shoot him! Not yet. It's been a long time coming, having the top at my mercy. Or should I say Alfred Hall? <laughs> or maybe Captain Pico? Lord knows who else over the years. Alfred Hall will do, and P Pico was a nice diversion. But a lousy accent. I guess you came to after a little accident quicker than I thought you would. You shouldn't have evaded the police so easily in the first place. You don't know them like I do. What's happening? It's over. Every one of your little sewer rats is going to be flushed out into the East River. Damn you. Oh, and uh, I got a present for you. Your tie pin. You dropped it when I slapped you around at the Powers Mansion. In the shape of a capital T. Thought it just stood for tie. Guess I know different now. A small conceit. A big mistake. Like you pointing out the ad Evelyn Powers placed to Grace here. I couldn't figure out your interest until Grace started saying she could get to the top. The only way she could think that would be through Alfred Hall. That's who she thought she was calling from Alden Powers' flop on Carl Street. That's right. He called me after you'd gone to check on Evelyn in her hotel. Told me he knew more than he was letting on about the top in Alden Powers, and that I should go to an address on Carl Street. How nice it would have been if you could have found Alden Powers and finished him off yourself, Grace. And she would have too, sir. I can vouch for that. Don't listen to them, Dexter. Why not? When Harper Carp told me you'd been taken straight to the top, I knew a slick head gigolo couldn't have that kind of access to the top. <laughs> unless... He really was the top. And that's why you became Alfred Hall. That's how you were able to use Tarleton Powers' yacht so easily. The man was a weak fool. I helped him cheat his brother out of his business when his own failed. Then I kept Alden Powers drugged and out of the way in a lunatic asylum that accepted a large donation and did not ask questions. But then I've performed all sorts of favors for the rich and so-called powerful, not just the Powers, and two of one, they never liked the price they had to pay. I was right. You are just a cheap blackmailer. I am a genius. Once I was fully in place here, I could have connected every crime organization in America. The whole country undermined by a criminal underclass. And what better place to control it from than their precious Statue of Liberty? You're a madman and a murderer. Look out, Dexter. He's got another gun. Ah! 
brace. <laughs> All yours, my friend. <laughs> Stop him, cop. I, uh, uh... <sighs> Forget it, cop. I should have been ready for an escape route. I fear I was of little use in this situation, sir. What do you mean, this situation? Grace, how badly you hit? Dexter, I... I... <sighs> Dead. But she was trying to tell me something. Just that she loved you, sir. What? She came here to kill the top in the vain hope she could win your love for her. <sighs> Damn you, top! Not again! Come on, cop. We have to find the escape hatch he used. There must be a hidden button somewhere. Yeah, he was behind his desk, sir, when the hatch opened. Let's see. What's under here? Ah, got it. There's a staircase. It must lead up to the outside. Uh, perhaps I should stay here, sir. Rear guard action. One never knows, sir. Don't worry, cop. This I do alone. Mm -hmm. Push that desk over to block the elevator door after I've gone. I doubt any of the top's men will make it out of the sewer. But it'll give you something to hide under if they do. May you have all the luck, sir. All the luck. See you around, cop. And thanks. There's no escape, top! Do you hear? No escape! Come on up and watch me! <laughs> Now, where'd he go? What's this? Must be a workman's hatch or something. Leading to the outside of the statue's head. <laughs> I hope you have a head for heights. You shot that woman in the back! What do you care? You didn't love her? She loved me! And that makes it the second time you've done that to me! Oh, I'll send you a valentine. That's my gyrocopter. Got to fly. You'll need both hands for that rope ladder, Top. When you show yourself, I'll drop you so fast. Well, want to give it a try? No! I missed it! Ah, it's help! I can't hold on! Quick! Give me your other hand. Gotcha! And there goes your ride. Pull me up! What are you doing? Don't panic. I've got you. Then pull me up! I'll make a deal. I can give you names. Uh, powerful names. Uh, everyone that ever paid me. There's only one name I'm interested in. Who? I'll give it to you! Anna Dexter. Who? You don't even remember. You killed her. But then there have been so many, haven't there? I don't know what you're talking about! Just pull me up, please! We were two rookie operatives on our first assignment. Chasing a cheap hood, calling himself the top. She got a tip off that she took herself and walked straight into a trap meant for the both of us. She was cut in two by the machine gun bullets. Uh, yes, yes, I remember. Uh, it, it wasn't me. Uh, it it was... was you, the top. Let's see if you like the price you have to pay. No, no, don't! You can't. You have to take me in. Please, you're the good guy. Who says? In the final episode of Secret Agent X-9 by Dashiell Hammett, dramatized by Mark Brissenden, X-9 was played by Stuart Milligan. Grace Powers by Connie Booth. Evelyn Powers, Rachel Power. Alden Powers, Peter Marinker. The Top, William Hootkins. Harper Carp, Carrie Shale. Luke, Michael John Pagliotti. Sister Agnes, Miranda Pleasance. Other parts were played by members of the cast. Secret Agent X-9 was directed by Chris Wallace.